Hello YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on my 86 944 Turbo. Believe it or not, up until this point this car has been just as reliable as our 2013 Lexus and has needed nothing but gas and oil. But as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. So today I'm going to be troubleshooting my first problem with the 944 and that is the headlights are no longer popping up. Honestly, I am amazed by the quality of these older Porsches. Porsche definitely doesn't build them like this anymore. If you have seen my Cayenne reliability video, then you know what I mean. Anyways, let's get this red beast out of the garage and start troubleshooting. So I'm inside the 944 and let me show you what happens when I turn on the headlights. So I turn to position two, which should pop up the headlights, which it doesn't. But if you go outside the car, Oh, got a ball belt, got to replace that. You can see the lights are on, and if you lift the hood, the headlights are shining and they're turned on as well. So what's happening here is even though I turn the switch on, the motor isn't activating the pop-up headlights. So we could have an issue at the fuse box, we could have a wiring issue from there to the fuse box, or maybe the relay's bad on the headlight motor, or the headlight motor itself is bad. So let's go through and start troubleshooting this thing. All right, so we're gonna start this troubleshooting journey at the fuse box. See if all the fuses are good for both the wiper motor and the headlight motor. So I'll use our trusty tool here to pull the fuses out of, which is nice. That Porsche provided that. So, all right, headlight motor, so socket number two we should have a 25 amp fuse there and then oh socket number 16 we should have a seven and a half amp fuse there so let's take a look at those so number two should be a 25 of course it's not that simple Everything looks good there, so we have no problems with that fuse. Put that one back. And number 16, I believe, was the next one, right? 16. Yep. Headlight motor should have a 7.5 fuse, which we do. And that one is good as well. So I'll put that back. And the wiper motor is a 24, at slot 24, and it has a, ooh, it's a big one, it's a 30 amp. Okay, pull that one. And that one's good as well. So our problem is not at the fuse box. So let's put everything back here and focus our attention at the headlamp motor. And that also has a relay built into it as well over there. Right there's my headlight motor. So let's start taking a look at this. Maybe we'll find something good. Everything looks good. I think I'm going to go online, find out what these pinouts are, and make sure we are getting 12 volts to the motor. So let me do that. All right, guys, so I'm ready to start checking the voltage at the four pin Molex connector that goes to the headlight motor. So there's four wires 
So there's a gray wire, a red green wire, a brown wire, and a red blue wire. And my shop manual is telling me that with the ignition switch off and the headlight switch off, I should get zero volts at the gray wire, 12 volts with the red green wire, zero volts at the brown wire, 12 volts at the red and blue wire. And then with the ignition switch on and the headlight switch off, it's exactly the same. But when I turn everything on, both the ignition switch and the headlight switch, I should get 12 volts at the gray and then 12 volts at the red blue and everything else should be zero. So I'm going to go through, run through that test, make sure everything's good. So I've got my multimeter connected. So I've got my multimeter connected to a good ground on the engine and here's my positive probe. So I'm going to run through the first one since everything is turned off. So the gray wire I should have zero, which I do. Red, green, got 12, perfect. So I'm at the brown wire, should have zero there. Yep, I do. Red, blue, and I've got 12, cool. So I'm going to go turn on the ignition switch. Make sure everything's still the same. So I'm at the gray wire, zero, red, green, 12. That brown should be zero, red, blue, 12. So we're good there, so now I'm gonna turn everything on. So the ignition on, is on and the headlight switch is on to position two so the headlight should be raised up but since my motor is bad it's not doing that so I'm gonna run through the test for the last section here so I should only get 12 volts at the gray wire and 12 volts at the red blue wire yep got 12 volts at the gray should have zero at red green which I do and zero at brown yep now we're at the red blue I've got 12 volts so everything passes there which tells me it can either be one of two things we either got the wiper motor is bad or the relay to the wiper motor is bad all right guys just a quick recap on this headlight motor what we've done so far we've checked the fuses everything looks good there then we also verified the wiring to make sure everything was good there so we double checked the four pin molex connector made sure we had all the proper voltages at each pin so we've eliminated both the wiring and the fuse panel as being a possible issue, which only brings it down to two possibilities. This headlight relay or the headlight motor itself. And I've actually have another Porsche 944 that has a good relay. So I'm gonna pop that in there and see if that takes care of the problem. If it doesn't, then I know what the problem is and that's the headlight motor. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Pop out the old one here. Ooh, it's in there good. Yeah, come on. There we go. Okay. Then we'll connect the power to it again. All right guys, so I just finished installing the new headlamp relay. Let's see if that takes care of it. Well, unfortunately, my headlight motor is bad and I got a good used one down here that I'm gonna swap it out with. And they're actually pretty easy to replace. All you need is a 13 millimeter and a 10 millimeter to swap one of these out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now.
So installing the new one is just the reverse of removing it. Looks like I'll have to order a new boot too. Man, these old cars. So that's one bolt down. Let's see if I can get the other one in without dropping the washers and losing them. Please don't. Please don't screw up. Please don't screw up. Please don't. Oh man, this one's gonna be difficult. Yep, this one's gonna be difficult. Got it into place. Now I just need to tighten it. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Beautiful. Just make sure I got the alignment set on the headlamps, the pop up headlamps. Everything looks good and flush. Other side. Oh, all right, tighten it down. Hook up the power. I'll have to get a new boot, so I don't have a new one on me, but this one's in pretty bad shape. So if I want this motor to last, I'm definitely going to buy a new one. Come on. Alright, boot is on. I'm not going to tighten down uh, the bolt to the that connects the motor to the arm because I want to cycle it to make sure it's at its resting position.
So I just cycled the motor. So now we're ready to add the last 13 millimeter bolt. That connects the pop-up headlight arm to the motor. Should be good. All right, everything's connected. Let's see if the headlights pop up. And that's how I troubleshooted the headlight motor problem in my 86 944 Turbo. Hopefully this video will be helpful to you in troubleshooting your headlight motor problems. If your headlight motor is bad, then there aren't a lot of options outside of the dealer. You can purchase a new headlight motor from Porsche, but it will cost you. As of August 2021, Porsche wanted almost $700 for a headlight motor. Ouch! Another option is to purchase a good used one, which will set you back around $100. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone who rebuilds the headlight motors for a 944. If you happen to know someone who can rebuild them, please let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you have any questions or need help replacing the headlight motor in your 944, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. So long.